Okay, I'm a part-time eBay reseller, and this time next year, I'm going to be a millionaire. And if you want to find out how, stay tuned. Okay, so this book here says to me that I can manifest anything I want. So if I think it, it can actually happen. So who knows, maybe I'll be a millionaire this time next year. But seriously, I I started out being a eBay reseller. It's not my first rodeo, to be honest. Um, back in 2010 to 2015, my partner used to have her own eBay shop. She used to sell dolls, and I used to go out sourcing. So I picked up quite a lot of knowledge during that time period. And, it, you know, it was the golden age of car boots, really, back then. Well, the golden age was the 90s, but... Back then, you'd go around a car boot and there was no resellers. There was stuff everywhere, SNESs, you know, Star Wars, all kinds of things. So it was really like a golden age of car booting. I've got some very simple targets to start off with. So I might do absolute shite at it. I don't know. That's why I've not officially set up an eBay shop at the moment. But I have started listing stuff. I, wait, I was waiting for my 70% uh, off final evaluation fees. To appear on my eBay, but it didn't happen, so I just listed the stuff anyway. I listed about 30 things as you can see um, on Friday morning, and I've had four sales. So I'm gonna first of all show you the sales before I spin through the things that I actually brought, actually listed rather. And the sales are basically you can see these two Jurassic Park things that are sold, which are here. These two figures here, which sold for, they sold for 20 quid because I took an offer on them. And I paid a quid each from Doncaster Car Boot. This one here was 18 99 Again, I paid a quid. So always look out for these. Well, I don't know what that is. It's a Jurassic World Lego, and these do really well. This one, it generally fetches about 18 99 on eBay. So I listed it, I listed it for that. But because there's no availability at the moment, I could have got more money because it literally took about 10 minutes to sell. And then there's these dolls here. See, these are done really well. I got that out. I got 49.99 on the one, which is this one here, and 59.99 on this one. I could potentially have got more on these because there weren't any listed, and they did sell quite quick. Now that you know, it looks brilliant if you look at the figures at the end here. So you can see I've made 148 pounds from it. It looks really good. I've got to factor off my costs then. So £5 each on the dolls, £3 in total on the Jurassic World stuff. So I've got to take off the fees for eBay too. And I got a massive £8.91 fee on that because of the I didn't have the 70% listings. So factor that in, it's down to about £115 profit. And then you've got to give 20% to the tax man. So take that 20% off and you're looking at 92 quid. So it sounds good when you think about £148 worth of sales, but in reality, you've got to deduct your tax too. So it's not all sunshine and roses, as they say. Anyway, my, my goal with uh, eBay basically this year is, as you can see, I'm 11 and a half grand down on my salary because I have to go part-time at work. So I need to pull that back somehow. <clears throat> and so what I propose to do is set myself targets. So this year I'm looking at trying to get a net profit of £6,000. In order to achieve that, I'm going to have to make about nine grand's worth of eBay sales because you've got to take about a third off the time you take off your selling fees, your cost of your items and your tax. So I'm looking at making, I need to roughly make around about... I don't know, 375, something like that a month on eBay, which is not, you know, it's not impossible. So I'm looking at making about £187. No, I'll get this right. I screwed up. I basically need to make about £187 a week on eBay to hit my target. So this week, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm headed there. Unfortunately, it's going to rain tomorrow and it's going to rain next week. So I'm, I'm lost two sourcing days because I won't go around charity shops. Not if I can help it. I generally have not had a decent pickle at a charity shop for about a year. So 
well, that's that. So that's my goal. See how I get on with that. And also, you know, I'm bringing you a lot of videos of live car boot footage, but I'll also be bringing videos about retro toys the old vintage toys so I know some of my subscribers are watching my channel for the toys and others for, for the car boot aspect so some weeks I'll probably be doing more car boot videos some weeks I'll be doing more toys so it doesn't mean I've abandoned either of the projects at all so I've since gone on to sell one of my football kits as you can see in my latest video and that will tell you a bit more about the finds so I blanked this part of the video out sound wise because I came out with a swear word and I'm just basically saying that YouTube will tell you that in order to hit the algorithm, you've got to sort of be very expressive with your thumbnails, pull all these faces that like I physically cannot do. The last time I managed to pull a face like that was when I was riding my bike fast, hit the brakes and landed on the handlebars. So I wasn't trying to offend anybody in this part. I'm just saying that my video is just going to be very basic. My thumbnails are just going to be based on my reselling experiences and based on the toy fairs that I go around so so no nonsense and no drama just straightforward videos so this channel is about going around toy fairs throughout the UK also visiting different car boots and trying to find lots of good gems that are hidden out there we're looking at vintage gaming we'll also be doing quite a section on vintage clothing so that's yet to come that is We'll be looking at the price guides on vintage toys and also looking at the old videos and catalogues of a lot of toys and seeing what the prices are now. We're doing a lot of bolo videos and reselling tip videos, looking at really what's trending on eBay and how we can go out and try and find that stuff. The last thing I want to do is say a big thank you to my partner, Stacey. She's supported me through my bad health that I've had over the last year and a half. She's an amazing lady with a really good heart and she's just supported me throughout this reselling journey. So can't say thank you enough.